Welcome biology to this session where we're going to be having a look at how excretory products can be used in medical diagnosis. Now the thing that they mainly use and ask you about here is urine sampling because urine contains lots of waste products from the body and it can be used to test to see if someone is pregnant or if they've had any misuse of any drugs. So the pregnancy testing that you do need to be aware of, um, it uses a monoclonal antibodies. Mono means one and clonal means several of the same type of antibody. So it uses monoclonal antibodies to detect if the hormone HCG, human chronic gonadotrophin, is present. And um, you need to know how. Now, bear in mind in an exam, they might completely um, use a different hormone altogether uh, and just I'll ask you about the concept of how this test actually works. So you do need to be aware of how this test works um, and anything in the red box is taken directly from the mask scheme. So the first thing that happens is the stick is dipped into urine up to a certain line. And if HCG is present within this urine sample, the HCG will be complementary and specific in shape to the monoclonal antibodies. And the HCG will bind to the monoclonal antibodies on this stick to form a HCG antibody complex. And this will move up the stick with the urine as the urine moves up. The third thing that happens is um, on the stick, I'll have excess amino, uh, excess antibodies, and these will be carried up the stick with the immobilized antibodies to the upper band. And what happens here is the HCG complex will bind to these immobilized antibodies. Immobilized means that they can't move. Uh, and due to their being complementary in shape, the lower band, uh, the, the band will show up and change the dye. So you have two bands present here. One of the bands turns and um, creates that dye if she's pregnant, and the other band will change a dye if uh, as a control. So, for example, that control will only detect the movement of those antibodies up the stick, whereas the pregnancy line will detect if the HCG is present. So this is why you get two lines if the woman is pregnant and one line if the woman is as just as a control. If the control line doesn't show up but the pregnancy line does, the test is invalid and you'd need to do another one. So this is an example of another type of hormone that they might ask you to detect, but it's the same principle using immobilized antibodies and um, excess antibodies to form a, in this case, a GH antibody complex. So we've looked at how we use monoclonal antibodies in, in pregnancy testing. Um, the next thing that we need to know about here is anabolic steroids and drugs. Now, um, anabolic steroids, um, the main thing here um, is that these guys um, are normally um, detected through gas chromatography. Now, in biology, you don't need to know how this works in a lot of detail. The main thing here you need to know is that it just produces a gas chromatography or chromatogram, um, which can then be used by the the scientists to determine if a certain drug is present or not. So it produces something like this, but in biology, you don't need to know anything about this. All you need to know is that we use gas chromatography and that is all you need to know. So that's everything on spec point F that we need to be aware of. Just bear in mind that they could use any kind of hormone to ask you about here and any kind of drug. So please don't forget that key terminology that was in the red boxes there. Guys, good luck with your exams and all the best.